Hello everyone, today we are solving day 8 of Advent of Code. Let's get uh, to the task definition and read it, as usual. Okay, uh, the tree is made up of nodes, a single outermost node forms the tree's root and it contains all other nodes in the tree. A single outermost node forms the tree's root and it contains all other nodes. Okay, tree with metadata. Each child node is itself a node that has its own header, child nodes, and metadata. For example, blah, blah, blah. In this example, each node of the tree is also marked with an underline, starting with a letter for easier identification. In it, there are four nodes A, which has two child nodes, B and C, and three metadata entries one, one, two. Like this one. B, which has zero child nodes and three metadata entries. Huh. 10, 11, 12, like, like this one. Oh, so basically two children, three metadata entries, zero, I don't know, zero children three metadata entries and like so one children one child one metadata entry zero children uh one metadata entry 99 then c is metadata two <laughs> okay um so is this how oh fuck okay so this is how our input looks like okay let's let's put it here um i guess we have to like um so we don't need lines but uh numbers let's call it numbers right so we split by space and we basically take input split it by space and then map parse log right no cannot uh core map cannot be yeah okay uh, because I'm using it okay so we have numbers we have list of all the numbers okay cool um okay uh, but let's start with this okay so let's start with this so we have uh, we will solve for demo problem first all right and um after that we will solve solve for the real problem so basically we comment out the input and uh, define everything so okay so um So basically this is like hmm. so we have to build a tree, I guess, right? What else uh, we left with? We have to build a tree. So it's basically it's like this. You take you read um you read amount of children, then you read amount of metadata, then you read all the children, and then you read all of your metadata, right? So, so basically, if we to define like uh, defn read node, and we have like input, so basically, let it's basically okay it's meta no sorry it's children children meta and like rest right um all right so we can read those two then we have to like 
<laughs> we have to return meta, right? So we just have to return the sum of all meta and meta data entries. So basically, here we. Um, so yeah. Um, so in put or basically we have to read node um so i need this closure doc so they have like function like repeat or something like that repeat probably no but maybe repeat no um do you have this yeah i need iterate probably so basically we um we start with rest right we have to okay okay let, let's let let me check so basically so we have one two three and we we have children amount of two so we interested in dropping this right and get the rest so basically it's drop um, drop children iterate read node rest right so we start with rest and we iterate with read node and basically let me reformulate it a little and drop uh, children amount and take first Right, so, uh, if children is zero, basically the iterate read node rest will just return the rest, right? Uh, we drop zero and we take first, right? So basically, we take we we have the rest itself, right? If children is one, we will have we will read one children, right? We drop it, we, we drop. Basically, we will consume read no yeah it seems correct it seems correct okay so this is actually the rest then we have to like um meta actual meta okay let's let's call it <laughs> the take meta from rest and rest uh, is basically drop meta rest right so what we return from this is basically hmm. well we can return two things actually we can return rest what is left to consume but then we won't know what meta is right so uh so we i guess we have to return two things If you return two things, then read node wouldn't work unless unless we provide second input to it, right? So let's say uh, read node takes like so called meta so far. Uh, oh, let's call it result. Yes, result so far, right? And input, right? So uh, two of them. So basically, this way we are just keeping the children, right? So, hmm, hmm. We can just keep the children. We need them as well. We need to add them to the sum, right? So it would mean like, so let's call this structure iter. 
and well the rest calculations are correct as far as i can tell all right so basically what we need to return is a vector of results so far the first value will be sum of rest so far so far uh, and reduce plus meta so we sum all the meta we have for this node and we also have to like to, to read the children from from uh, child res or child meta so basically as we read all the children here um uh, okay yeah i'll have to adjust this but but um child dress basically as we read them so we basically we have to take children amount of eater right um map map first uh, this is getting complicated it's getting so complicated. <sighs> First so basically, read node takes input, but it returns. <sighs> Turns to things, right? The sum of the input and the rest of the nodes. Ooh, this is tricky. Okay, trees are tricky, right? So maybe we just build a tree somehow and then just walk it. Yeah, just walk. basically what we are writing is is a walk of tree, tree walk. Um. A read node doesn't it doesn't make sense so probably we, we just can't use the iterate here but 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 so basically uh meta and rest can be calculated actually by reducing on rest starting with uh, zero and rest right no, but not reducing on rest. What, what are we reducing on? On shield, right? Okay, so we have to like do. Okay, this will be. This will look strange. Okay, so we're ignoring. Uh, we don't. We are not ignoring. Um, later we're ignoring the element so what we need from reduce actually is uh, for it to just do an amount of iteration children amount of iterations right so so this is what we need and it can provide for us so we just ignore the index so basically it's an index but we don't need it um, what we need actually is like let meta rest read node rest right so we read some amount of the stuff and we return uh, some of meta and meta dash and uh, rest dash right something like that so this should work i guess so by the end of this reduce we have consumed all the children we know what's left of them that and we know how many well, let's call it like that right so we we have like semantic names we, we know how many data they accumulate and how many uh data is rest right so basically we we take um we don't need that. Uh, we take, sorry, we take 
meta elements from um, okay let's let let me start on, let me focus on reduce right so uh, on return value so basically what we have to return first part of the vector is uh, the meta value right so basically it will be sum of child meta and n elements of child rest uh, reduced with uh, sum right so like that uh, what we have in rest is basically we uh, we drop we drop meta that we consumed from child rest basically like that and we don't need that and okay red <laughs> let's read node numbers so we have 138 does it match the example that we provided yeah it matches okay cool so i guess we have solved the problem already uh four five eight six five four five eight six five and that's the right answer okay so i guess i didn't run the timer okay so i don't know how many much time to take but um, we can run it for the second part i can i guess i can check it by youtube uh, video links the second check is slightly more complicated you need to find the value of the root node a in the example above the value of node depends on whether it has child nodes if another has no child node its value is the sum of its metadata entries so the value of node b is 10 plus 11 plus 12 with 33 right and the value of node of d is 99 so this are uh, like uh, end nodes right so okay um however if node does have child nodes the metadata entries become indexes which refer to those child nodes a metadata entry of one refers to the first child node two to the second three to the third and so on so it's it's one based index right the value of the node is the sum of the values of the child nodes referenced by the metadata entries for instance child node does not exist that reference is skipped a child node can be referenced multiple time and count each time it is referenced a metadata entry of zero does not refer to any child node a metadata of zero doesn't refer to okay the example again using the any the above nodes not c has one metadata entry two because c node has only one child to reference the child node that doesn't exist so value of the c is zero but a has three metadata entries one one and two the one reference in a first child node b okay and uh, two references nodes a second child node. okay in graph of the root node is 66 what's the value of the root node okay cool so basically um yeah <laughs> basically let's start with the sample input again um so we're moving to the second part of the task okay let's um let's see so i guess we have somehow to do almost the same except this reduce will have to be like a map huh a map right a map so instead of like returning meta we will just make this metas right uh, metas. and we will have wall, wall somewhere right so um so basically what we do uh so read node retur now returns wall right and um while and rest basically right so if uh, while so basically yeah we just conch the metas the while to the metas and we do what we always did with the rest right so this doesn't change child metas it is right now so basically uh, the value of the node uh, so now we have uh, like if uh, children is zero right we just have to use this value otherwise otherwise um we need to implement save get basically
if this is true we return right otherwise we return zero okay so basically what we have to do is like map So this is our indexes, right? We have to map those indexes. Okay, let me take indexes. We map them for like save, get, child, methods, percent, and then we reduce them for so this is um, how we calculate the value and the rest basically calculates the same okay syntax error save get does, is not defined okay let's define save get let's see read node 2 uh, number, numbers right 167 okay so something is wrong um okay something is wrong here <laughs> Let me let me figure out what is wrong. Okay, so read node returns failure and if zero children um, take me we just sum the meta, right? And this is how much meta do we have? If not it does has no children nodes, so will it is sum of its metadata entries? If it does, metadata become indexes which refer to the child nodes. The value of this node is sum of all the values of the child nodes references by metadata entries. Um, we actually have to rename child methods to child vals because it's vals. Right. Um, so conch vals val is seems to be fine. Uh, and scroll decrement index seems to be fine as well. Oh, here I have something very, very wrong. So I guess that's an issue. 167 still. Huh, this is strange. So index should be between one and uh, the size of the collection, right? If if, re if a reference a child node doesn't exist, that reference is skipped. A child node can be referenced multiple times and count each time is referenced. The method of the zero doesn't refer to any child node. Okay, yeah, it seems it seems to be correct. Okay, um, let's just uh, call it again and see what is wrong with the. So basically we take from the meta of our current no oh oh yeah. oh no yeah these are metas of our current node right these are the metas right we sum them right right then we map the those indexes using save get our save get sorry provide child values and index right um okay let's huh there's actually no names right so i guess if i just print it like that it, it, it ain't gonna help hmm wait what wait collection is 33 and 101 and, and index is one right Okay. 
something is not right here. Um, so let's print it's here instead. So print ln children meta. Child wall walls and some of the meta. Right, so and let's comment out this one. Let's see what we'll get. Okay, so uh, only one. Oh, because I'm I'm iterating on the, <laughs> with the wrong uh, with the wrong thing. Okay, sixty six five four. Okay, so I was just referencing the wrong thing here. Oh, it is, does not finish. Huh. Oh, this is interesting now, right? So, original tool. I guess. If we have zero children, well, this reduce shouldn't be called from, right? Okay. I guess something's wrong. Okay. Uh, Let me just find this Java program. Oh. It's actually something else is wrong. Okay, what is wrong? Let me just run this uh, in. So it just doesn't print the answer for some reason? Huh. Yeah, that's the right answer, but well, I guess uh, more uh, more integration problems with, like, so it took 11 minutes to solve the second part. More integration problems with REPL. Okay, so well, it's strange. Basically, when I run this, it just doesn't print my results. So, but if I comment this out, it prints it. So if, if the output is too long, it doesn't print the result, even if the result is short. Okay. <laughs> okay. So let's uh, prettify it a little bit. So basically, uh, all is fine here, I guess. All right. Except that we we want like um, call first and read, read node two numbers like that. Uh, we don't need print the line here. We don't need it here. Same here, so basically just first let's see, let's see. Okay, the part one doesn't work now. It's wrong. Character cannot be passed to a number. Which character? Oh because yeah, because obviously this here it should be numbers. Uh, the first answer is it correct? Is it what? Yeah, it, I guess it's correct. Um, yeah, I have the second answer. Okay, it seems okay. It seems okay, so I am happy to commit it. I guess. Um, yeah, that's it. Well, it wasn't hard, but I'm not sure how I did against other people. So it's just check for the eight so it took about 12 minutes for them to solve both parts and i took 11 minutes just to solve the second part okay 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 anyways this is day eight thanks for watching and to be continued bye bye